Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system, a renewing system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you want to wean yourself or a loved one off their meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about skin health or formulations or ingredients or something you may have heard about or read about or been told, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. For a one-time $25 fee, you can join the Brightside Ben team. You can start yourself a business. You can make some money selling longevity products. You can make some money changing lives, turning people onto the longevity products. For a one-time $25 fee, we can have you on the Brightside Ben team. We can help you build your business. If you're entrepreneurially minded, and I love being an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur pretty much my whole life. There's nothing about, there's nothing that quite gives you the sense of self-satisfaction as building something from scratch. Not to mention the independence that entrepreneurship affords you. One of these days we'll do a program on being an entrepreneur. Anyway, $25 will get you your own business. You can start yourself a business and, or you can just get your products at the wholesale price. Call 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Okay. So we are talking about DHEA, love the stuff. It's one of the PPD hormones, the youth promoting hormones, along with pregnenolone and progesterone. It's converted into testosterone and estrogen, DHEA is converted into what are called our sex hormones. As we get older, we don't make as much DHEA and DHEA supplementation can be extremely, extremely helpful. That's not to say that if you're getting old or you're frail or you're starting to experience some of the signs of, of old age, weakness and lock, a lack of vitality, problems sleeping, perhaps your bones aren't as strong as they used to be, you're not repairing muscle as well as you used to be, you're not thinking as clearly as you used to be, your skin's not looking as good as it used to look. It's not to say you can just take DHEA and reverse everything. That's not how the body works. This is what we've been talking about for the, uh, for the last few days. Health issues are specific health issues, whether it's osteoporosis or wrinkled skin or autoimmune disease or anything inflammatory or Alzheimer's, issue, or Alzheimer's disease or heart disease. For the most part, these things are all secondary issues with the exception of digestive problems, which are literally caused directly by what we're doing, by our eating behavior, basically, for the most part. And uh, blood sugar issues, which again are affected by how we eat and also by our stress levels. And perhaps, well, basically those two blood sugar, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and digestive issues, those are directly in our, uh, in our wheelhouse. We participate directly in how these things show up. On the other hand, if you're trying to lose weight, if you've got a heart problem, if uh, your muscles aren't repairing as well as they should, your skin's not looking as good as it should, you're dealing with depression or Alzheimer's disease or, or dementia of some kind, these are secondary issues. 
They're not primary issues. This is so important because we have this notion that we can just target Alzheimer's without affecting anything else, or we just have Alzheimer's. I can't tell you how many letters I get from people who say, I was perfectly fine, and then I got Parkinson's disease, or I'm perfectly fine except for the fact that I have autoimmune disease. It's like we think that the problem that we see is the problem. It's not. It's a sign of the problem. They're secondary. And if you just try to approach your health challenge, your secondary health challenge, as if it was a primary health challenge by just taking this supplement or, or this strategy, using this strategy, you may get some effects, you may get some benefits, but you're not going to completely take care of the problem. If we haven't corrected the underlying, underneath factors, which involve leaky gut, malabsorption, insulin resistance, Adrenal stress to a, certain, uh, to a certain extent, although that itself is caused by leaky gut and malabsorption and insulin resistance. If we try to target the bones and the skin and the heart and the brain and all these secondary sy systems and we haven't corrected the underlying problem, we're going to, even if we get better a little bit, we're not going to be able to take care of the problem. And more than likely, we're not, it's not even going to make that much of a difference. If we're trying to lose weight, for example, and we just try to diet, and then we wonder why we're not losing weight, or at least we're plateauing. Perhaps we lose a bunch of weight and then we plateau. It's because we haven't corrected the underlying digestive issues, the underlying blood sugar issues, the underlying adrenal health issues. Someone has dementia, likewise. We can take an Alzheimer's drug, but it's not going to work very well. In fact, they don't work very well. They hardly work at all because dementia is a byproduct. It's a byproduct of messed up blood sugar. It's a byproduct of a, a, a messed up digestive system. It's a byproduct of inflammation and immunity. This is what Alzheimer's disease and dementia is, you guys. It's messed up immunity, messed up inflammation. And I keep reading these studies. Every day, literally every day, another article on Alzheimer's disease comes out. And if you keep track of these things, you'll see. It's now, uh, by people in the know, it's recognized by people in the know that Alzheimer's disease is inflammatory. It's immune. It's sugar. And any bonehead medical professional who starts talking about amyloid plaques and tau protein and vaccines needs to go back to medical school. And we're the, you know, it, it's one thing to rip on the doctors who are promoting this idea and the pharmacomedical model that's promoting this idea, but we're the ones suffering from this. So you got to backtrack. Heart disease, same thing. Skin disease, same thing. Aging skin. I'm in the skincare business. Been in the skincare business for 32 years. I'm telling you, if you want to have healthy, beautiful skin, you got to focus on your digestive system and your blood sugar system and your adrenal system. Make sure you're building uh, in building mode, in anabolic mode. Make sure that you've eliminated or reduced any inflammatory factors. And if you're going to use topicals, use vitamin C and use vitamin A. That's why I came out with my truth, with my truth treatments. Those are the only things you need on your skin. Topical vitamins. Why should that be a surprise? Why should that be so strange? Why should that be an unusual phenomenon? I remember when I started working with topical vitamins. I got the idea to do topical vitamin C and topical vitamin A in pharmacy school. Because we learned about retin-A, vitamin A in pharmacy school. So when I got out, I started compounding. I started using vitamins. And I remember I had a marketing guy working for me. And he said, Ben, why are you using vitamins in skincare? Aren't you supposed to take vitamins? And this was probably the late 90s or, or maybe 97, 96, 97. And I remember thinking, how, what a silly question. How could he not understand that you put vitamins on the skin, you'll heal the skin. They use these things to, to do their business, to do their work. Skin cells do. And I couldn't, it just didn't, I couldn't understand why he didn't understand because it was just common sense to me. Sure enough, 10 years later, they're all over the place. Vitamins all over the place. But, you know, it's not enough just to have vitamins in a skincare product. You got to have enough of them and you got to have the right form. And that's why I came out with my truth treatment products. Anyway, the bottom line here is skin, heart, Alzheimer's disease, blood pressure issues, whatever, autoimmune disease, cancer itself, these are secondary. In the skin, it's particularly, particularly egregious, this notion on focusing on symptoms, because there's billions of dollars at stake here. No one in the beauty business is going to tell you what everyone in the beauty business knows, that for the most part, skincare is baloney. When I go to the trade shows to look at ingredients and do my little chemist thing, get to talk to chemists, which I love doing, they're laughing. Of course, they'll say they'll tell you a true chemist, a cosmetic chemist who works with the ingredients, a hardcore scientist will tell you it's all silly, with the exception of vitamin C and vitamin A. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we are back on the Bright. 
right side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our 5% retinol, uh, retinol 5% gel made with vitamin C. No fragrances, fillers, waxes, preservatives. Silicon oils, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. That's one of the reasons why you can use our Truth Retinol Gel once a week or even twice a week and not get anywhere near the irritation that you do. Most folks won't get any irritation at all, but certainly you won't get anywhere near the irritation that you do from prescription strength Retin-A. I designed Truth Retinol Gel to be equipotent, equally potent to retinoic acid in its 0.05% uh, version. Retinol is 100 times weaker than retinoic acid. And if you want to be equipotent, have the same potency as 0.05% retinoic acid, you need a 5.0% retinol gel. And that's exactly what I formulated. 5.0% 5, 5 retinol gel equipotent to the prescription strength Retin-A along with vitamin C. Doesn't require a doctor's office or pharmacy visit for that matter. And it is, the, not only is it the same potency, it's even better because it's got all the vitamin C in it and none of the crap. Retin-A is a really lousy product, by the way, not just because of the Retin-A, but because of the other stuff that's in it. In any case, you can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol, uh, our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream in addition to our Truth 5% Retinol Gel. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We're talking about DHEA the salubrious health-inducing substance that's associated with youth and associated with pretty much every single marker of good health that you can name. In fact, if you really, I'm, I'm not a big believer in, in blood tests, as you know, if you listen to this program, I like people to look at their symptoms, but if you just want a quick down and dirty blood test to see how fast you're aging, have your DHEA and DHEAS. We'll talk about DHEAS uh, later on here and probably next week, uh, but have your DHEA or DHEAS levels checked. And that is a wonderful indicator to how fast you're aging. And then start supplementing with DHEA and then notice what happens to your levels or use DHEA cream and see what happens to your levels. DHEA cream has, some, ha has a lot of benefits, although you do need to go to a pharmacist to make that for you. Um, you know, I take that back. There are over-the-counter DHEA creams that you can get, but if you really want a big old dose, you gotta go to a pharmacist. But there, are, there is DHEA topicals available um, through Amazon or on the internet. But DHEA, there's a lot of advantages to DHEA uh, topically, even though you do need the good, to get the real high dose, you need to go to a, a compounding pharmacist. There's a lot of benefits to using topical DHEA. For one thing, you get a sustained release. Topical, when you get an ingredient that can be delivered into the blood through the skin, there's some really interesting benefits. For one thing, you get, you bypass the liver, which you ordinarily would, would uh, detoxify or break things down before it gets into the blood. After we swallow a pill or eat a food, the liver is like immigration and it's going to determine what's going to get into the blood and drugs and, and sometimes supplements and certainly hormone-like substances like DHEA can get filtered through the liver before they go into the blood. That's called the first pass effect. The first pass effect is what a pharmacist or pharmacologist will tell you is uh, the result of the liver purifying substance, substances, which it's supposed to do before it gets into the blood. But when you put something right on your skin, whether it's estrogen cream or, or progesterone cream or DHEA cream, typically these steroid creams, these steroid ingredients lend themselves really well to transdermal or uh, at cream application, likewise DHEA, you can get blood levels without having to deal with the liver. And that's what, that could be a good thing. The second advantage to uh, the skin transdermal, using DHA transdermally is you get a sustained release, a slow release. So instead of getting a peak and a, a peak and a drop, which is what happens when you take an oral pill or an oral supplement, you get a peak as the supplement goes into your blood and then it drops. With a, a, when you apply something topically, you get a sustained release. You don't get the peak and the drop. So it just gets you get a steady blood level. That's why I like people to drink or to sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, by the way, because you always want a steady blood level. The body doesn't like highs and lows, and when something's high, it's going to pull it back down. And if you, if you take a pill or you take a supplement or you take a medicine or you do your Beyond Tangy Tangerine all at once, your body will have a tendency to yank all that stuff out pretty quickly. That doesn't happen when you apply something topically in a cream or when you sip on your BTT, you get a sustained release. So that's another benefit. You, first benefit is you, you bypass that liver effect 
And second benefit is sustained release. But with DHEA, you get a third benefit, and that is that DHEA is great for the skin. You get all kinds of skin benefits. DHEA is a skin health nutrient. Remember, the skin, it, it, the skin and skin care and beauty, when we talk about secondary and byproduct, there's nothing more secondary and byproduct in the world of health and skin health. Skin health is classically secondary to lots of other things. It's a byproduct like heart disease and dementia and bone health and muscle health and immune health and cancer. Skin health is a byproduct, but because there's so much money at stake, no one in the beauty business is going to tell you this. And I was saying before the break, when I go to the trade shows and talk to chemists, they're all laughing. I, I always, I have to, you know, they know me now. I ask hard questions when I go to the trade show, so they know who I am. And I like to talk chemistry, so they always laugh. Ah, of course it doesn't work. They'll tell you things like, well, it's been shown to improve skin pigmentation by 7.8%, and 23% of people noticed a 5% difference, and did it work? No, of course it's not going to work. There's nothing that can work really topically except for retinoic acid and vitamin C. But nobody's going to tell you that because there's money in it. Big, 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 big money in it. Beauty is a byproduct. Beauty is like building bones. I can tell when somebody's going to be, when somebody has uh, got bone problems by looking at their skin. Osteoporosis and wrinkles go hand in hand. Somebody who's wrinkling rapidly is probably dealing with osteoporosis and probably a breakdown in their blood vessels too. Beauty is a byproduct. Building bones is a byproduct. Healthy hearts are byproducts. Healthy weight is byproducts of good nutritional supplementation, breathing correctly, eating correctly, thinking correctly, feeling correctly. And when we finally nail this down, we're not going to need the silly drugs and the silly doctors for the most part, and, and the silly skincare products, for the most part, silly skincare products. The skincare business and, and skincare products as we know them today, creams and lotions, which are your standard skincare product, were developed in the late 19th century and the early 20th century, and they've changed very little since. This is why I came out with the truth. The truth is a complete departure, which I figured out in the pharmacy setting because I couldn't play around in the pharmacy setting. I had to make products that were going to work. I couldn't play around. And so I just changed the whole format. That's why we don't really have creams and lotions in, in, in our true skin health products. Most products that we're using today, I don't care how fancy it is or how much you paid for it at the department store, it's still based on the same standard idea that you make a, it's called a water in oil or an oil in water emulsion. That's your standard product, an emulsion. We've talked about emulsions a couple months ago. And they're creams and they're lotions. And it's the same generic formula that was created by the Greek physician Galen in the year 300. No kidding. Or 200, I think. Yes, 1,900 years ago, we've been using the same basic product for nearly 2,000 years, and nobody's thought to change it until Truth Skin Health Products, that is. You take uh, water, 70%, 70%, 80% or so water. You take some wax, you throw in some thickener, maybe some xanthan gum, 2 or 3% emulsifying agent, a little bit of glycerin, silicon, some cocoa butter, maybe if you're lucky, or maybe a vitamin or two, and a lot of marketing. That's your skincare product. And it doesn't do nothing for nobody, except it makes people a lot of money. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about skin health, about any of the truth skin health products, about ingredients or formulations or something you may have heard about or read about, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you in just a moment. Do you know what, that the sun is very important for DHEA? The sun actually has a way of activating DHEA. The sun has a way of activating a lot of things, for that matter. The sun can activate cholesterol. It can activate vitamin D. It can actually turn vitamin D into a more water-soluble version of vitamin D. This nonsense about staying out of the sun is not doing us any good. Via its activity on DHEA, via its activity on, on uh, cholesterol, via its activity on four vitamin D. The sun is one of the most cardio protective anti-aging skin, skin health substances you could ever expose yourself to. Yes, it's good for your skin. Via vitamin D, DHEA, and cholesterol, it turns out the skin, the sun is actually good for your skin. Can you burn and, and accelerate aging? Yes, of course you can. 
so it's stimulating. But that doesn't mean you want to avoid it. It's stimulating. We have this notion that when something's stimulating, we got to stay away from it. No. Stimulation means exercise. Stimulation means growth. In terms of DHEA, it activates your DHEA. It forms DHEA sulfate, which we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk about next week as we continue our discussion on health and the ketogenic diet and the PPD hormones, specifically as it regards dihydroepiandosterone, as it's called, DHEA. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side from the journal Pharmacology. Check this out. K2, vitamin K2. We don't talk about that one a lot. Vitamin K2 impairment by statin drugs may cause heart disease. How do you like that? You take a statin drug for your heart disease, and now you get heart disease as a side effect. This is the boneheaded, boneheaded, boneheaded nature of the pharmacomedical model. Boneheaded. Did I say that enough? Boneheaded model. Pharmaco of the uh, uh, boneheaded strategies of the pharmacomedical model. I cannot, it, it just blows me away. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Let's go to Hector in Austin. Good morning, Hector. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? How you doing? Uh, I got a question about adenoids uh, in a toddler. She's had a lot of uh, ear infections, and we had a consult with the ENT. Is this your daughter, did you say? It? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, how would you... With the ENT, G's three. Okay. All right, here's the deal. Do you know what the adenoids are, by the way? Because when I tell you no, what they ahead. are, you'll know exactly how to take care of the problem. Do you know what they are? Right on. Do you know what they are, uh, bro? No, 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 go ahead. Okay. Uh, just as a... I'm not... This isn't a quiz. I'm just curious to know right. what do you think they are. And I just want to know what you think. No right answer here or wrong answer. I just want to know what you think. Some kind of lymph-like tissue in the back awesome. of the throat. Awesome. That's exactly what they are. Now, what does the lymph do? Uh, helps to clean us up. There you go. Now, if she has an adenoid problem, what do you think the problem would be? If she has a lymph problem and the lymph's job is to clean things up and she has a lymph problem, what do you think the problem is? Or not well, specifically, but generally, what would the problem be? Not specifically. Uh, she's not, uh, the, the lymph isn't draining like it. Like it You're should. on the right track. There's some kind of toxin okay. in there. There's something the body's right. it's overloaded, right? So right. does she she probably gets ear infections and that kind of thing, right? Yeah, she's had that's yeah, that's why we had the, the consult. Yeah. It's uh it's she, been fairly insane. Her, her lymphatic system is blocked. It's clogged. That means something's getting into her blood. The lymph is part of the blood. It's part of the circulatory system. So there's something getting into her circulation that's clogging things up. It's as simple as that. You don't need a doctor. I'm serious. This is just common sense here, Hector. And I'm not, I'm not ripping okay. you. I'm just, I want you to see how easy this no. is. Okay? No so, problem. Right okay? So something's getting into her circulation. How do things get into circulation? Well, they can go in through the skin. Is she an IV drug user? Okay. Obviously not. Vaccines, no. vaccines, right? Vaccines can do it, you know, but... But that, that'll be, that would be more of a long-term reaction. But still, that could be a problem. But for the most part, the issue, of, of, of the main thing to, the main issue when something's getting into the blood inappropriately is food. So, and with the way kids eat today, even if they're eating healthy, by the way, nobody can eat healthy because food today didn't exist 200 years ago. So we can eat healthier, but you can't eat healthy. We're going to just, by living in the United States of America on planet Earth in the year 2016, we're subject, hey, Hector, I don't know what's going on. You've got you to turn that off or something, whatever that noise is. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm okay. So we got to watch the food. Look for things that cause her symptoms to get worse, Hector. Number one, okay. dairy is a major culprit. Gluten can be involved. Flour, cereal, sugar. All of these are likely suspects. Eggs can possibly, peanuts, soy, legumes of all kinds, that's beans. All of these can be problematic. Go by her digestive symptoms when she complains or when she has loose stools or she's constipated or she just doesn't feel, you know, she'll rub her belly or she'll be colicky maybe or she'll be cramp, uh, 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 cranky. And then also look for flare-ups. Does she have skin issues, by the way, eczema or anything like that? No skin issues. Um, Breathing no issues? Breathing issues? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, only only when the allergens are, are really okay. bad. 
All right. So, well, there you go. You know, That's what you want to look for is flare-ups in breathing, flare-ups in her uh, eye or her ear infections, and digestive complaints, and then eliminate those foods. Get her on a good probiotic supplement, a baby probiotic supplement like the Root Beer Belly from Longevity. Have her doing, uh, if she'll do it, have her doing vegetable juices and stay away from, from fruit juices, although you can put a little beet or a little apple in, the, in a vegetable juice to make it sweeter. Um, and then, of course, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients are important. And uh, I would be using, in addition to the Nightly Ath or the Root Beer Belly, I'd be using the Fucoid Z. Uh, and you can get the Z Radical, although that, that might be a little bit sweet. Uh, focus sure. on her immune system, and that means her digestive system. The lymph is part of the immune system, but the headquarters of the immune system is in the intestine. Did, was she wow. breastfed, Hector? Uh, unfortunately, no. My wife's milk never okay. came. Okay, all of that is all those are things that you're going to need to focus on. Pay attention to her, her right. to the intestine. All right, I got to motivate Hector. Thanks for your call, buddy. I hope well, I helped you. Thanks. Okay, Appreciate take care, it. man. Bye bye. All right, uh, 844 236 6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Leroy in uh, Atlanta. Hey, Leroy, what's up, man? What's going on, Ben? Okay, so I started the regiment dealing with this cavity, and I'm still at the vitamin C stage. I'm taking 2,500. I'm taking five vitamin C a day. H hang on, brother. You're trying to hang on, Leroy. You're trying to get rid of a. You're trying to deal with a cavity here. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yeah, yeah. And the pain, I, I wouldn't play pain. around with a cavity. You know, that's a mechanical thing. Do you actually have a cavity? A cavity means a hole in your tooth. There's a there's a there's a cave in your tooth. Is that what's occurring? Yeah, yeah, but take it out. I, I wouldn't. Man. I wouldn't be dealing with it personally. If it's me, I wouldn't be dealing with a cavity nutritionally. I'd be dealing with preventing further cavities nutritionally. But once you have that hole in your tooth, you're set up for all kinds of infections and misery. There's nothing like dental misery, and I wouldn't be fooling around with it personally. Uh, of course, you know you do what you want to do. However, for for the future reference, that's where all of these nutritional strategies can be very helpful. So I'm, I'm happy to talk to you about all that, but I, I just would not advise you to ignore a cavity and try to do it nutritionally. So hang on, Leroy. We've got to take a break, and then we'll finish up when we come back. Got lines open for you. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to all you guys when we come back. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Leroy in Atlanta uh, about cavities, about the teeth. If you have a cavity, Leroy, my suggestion is to have it taken care of. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had a toothache, but they ain't no fun. And that's what you're setting yourself up for and worse because once you get bacteria in there, you can end up with a, needing a root canal. The bacteria can go in the blood. Um, uh, cavities are associated and, back, and oral bacteria are associated with heart disease, heart health issues. It's nothing to mess around with. For the future, there's lots you can do, and I'm happy to help you. Does that? I don't mean to rain on your parade there, Lee Wright, but... Uh, um, that's just my advice. Anything you want to add to that? And I'll tell you some, I'll tell you some cool supplements that you can take to prevent uh, cavities here in a second. But is there anything you want to add to that, or, or ask me about that? Uh, yeah. So, so what we discussed last week was okay. I got a cavity. I got a mitral valve prolapse. Uh -huh. I come up with a regimen. Did some research with switching with comfrey root. Mm -hmm. I was using since I had a mitral valve prolapse. I was going to use uh, golden seal or yellow root for mm -hmm. that, that part of it. You said, no, you should use the vitamin C as your antibiotic. And the way mm -hmm. I know it's working is because my stool will get loose. Well, I really haven't experienced that. But what I am seeing is some of the affected area clear. That's so, awesome. That's awesome. You mean so, the cavity? Yeah. So I can, can I take that as a indication that I have enough vitamin C? And you're on the right track. You can take it as an indication you're trending in the right direction, and that's a great question. And that's exactly how you want to assess the, the uh, effectiveness of a protocol or a program is by trending in the right direction, and you are certainly trending in the right direction, and that's great. Vitamin C does have antibiotic properties, so that's great. I still wouldn't be messing around with it you know, because just the potential for damage and, 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 and pain in the future is so great, but that's awesome that you're getting that, those kinds of benefits. Did I tell you about zinc? Yes, you did, and, I was, okay. and I've added vitamin D as of late to, as well. So I'm going to move on with the rest of the resume. My next question is this. What's the best transmission for the eggshell? 
should I crush it up and put it in capsules? Or should mm, I uh, put some vinegar? Up? No, crush it up and yeah. then uh, let it soak in some vinegar to release the minerals, the nutrients, or lemon juice. You can use lemon juice. And then make yourself, uh, and let it sit as long as you can. Crush it up, let it sit as long as you can. And then, uh, and then uh, you might even want to put a little bit of heat, just very, very little, maybe in a double boiler kind of thing, very little heat to release some of those minerals. And then make lemonade out of it, out of the juice, out of the, the water, or the lemon water. And then you can encapsulate, and then you can, if you can do encapsulation, if you have capsules, you can put the, uh, the uh, eggshells, the remaining eggshell in some capsules and do it that way. You'll get some silica out of there and uh, some of the stuff that doesn't come out in the lemon juice, you'll, you'll still get. Does that make sense? Soak in lemon juice, turn it into lemonade, and then, uh, or lemon juice, soak it in, in straight lemon juice, then dilute it and turn it into a lemon beverage of sorts, I suppose you'd say, and then encapsulate the rest. So what would be the sweetener for the lemon juice, honey? Uh, I would, you don't need, you don't need sweetness, man. Lemon juice is so, so delicious. You don't need sweetness. <laughs> What? I'm not talking straight. I'm not talking straight. You can dilute it with distilled water and just make a delicious tasting uh, distilled lemon beverage, lemon drink. But if you want to put sweetener in there, put some, put some stevia or something. But you don't need it. Didn't you ever have lemon juice? It's really very refreshing. It is to yeah. turn this down. All right. You got to have a little put, sugar. Is nice. All right. All right. Put some, put some stevia. I wouldn't put the honey there because they're your teeth. Stevia won't cause your cavities. Okay. Okay. All right, man. All right, I'll update hey. again. All right, take care. Good to talk to you. Thank you. All right, bye. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Carl, the Truth Raider. What's going on, man? How you doing? Happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday, Ben. Are you keeping cool up there in the Mile High City? It's, it's gonna be. Uh, it's been pretty. Years. It's been pretty hot. But you know what I do? As I get up early and I do all my outdoor stuff, like errands and and go to my lab and so everything I need to do, uh, in the morning when it's still like seventy five degrees. But yeah, yeah in the middle of the, the day. Age. Yeah, you'll need to have the AC this weekend. I guess it's going to be highs there, 100 degrees there. Here's going to be mostly cloudy, lots of rain coming in over the weekend, and the highs only in the 60s to low Thank 70s. You. <laughs> Thank you for that meteorological weather report. I appreciate that, Carl. Thank yes, I missed, my, I missed my call for, for weather meteorology there. Hey, uh, I don't know what this is. Is this cognitive... A cognitive issue, or is it a neurological issue, or is it just something that is uh, set maybe even the condition of ADD or ADHD or what it could be? Is it for you? Yes. I've yes. had this all my life, and uh, this is the first time I ever wanted to talk to somebody who's professionally into health and nutrition about okay. this. This is the first time about okay. this. But I'll, all my life, I'll, I'll have... Uh, an item or something or a set of keys or, or something I'm looking for, a book or something, and I can't find it. Early onset and dementia. Stuff, and it's right in front of me. Early onset dementia. Really? From from the time I'm a kid all the way through all, all my Very uh, early my onset life? dementia. I've always suspected that about you. <laughs> I've known you were demented since I've started talking to you. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Well, well, I'm just kidding. Answer. No, no, I'm kidding you. But isn't that an interesting phenomenon, how you could look 100 times and then 100, the 101st time your keys show up there or whatever it is yeah. you're looking for? The last, That's, last place that goes to place. show you how our brains work. You know, we assume that we see everything and that we notice things and, and that we're paying attention and that everything in the environment is somehow being recognized by us. But it, that's far from the truth. We only see what we are conditioned to see and what we believe to see and what our brain happens to want to see at that particular moment. And the proof of that phenomena is that exactly what you're saying, which can be really frustrating, but it, it's, it happens to everybody, Carl, how you look in the same place a hundred times and then the hundred first time that thing shows up. And, and the reason that's important, I think, is because it will really, if we really understand that, we'll really, we'll really question our assumptions. We'll really question our beliefs. And I think that is one of the most important things we can do to live an effective life. Socrates talked about that. And by the way, Socrates got put to death for teaching. He, he, officially, he was put to death for corrupting the youth. Did you know this, Carl? This is why yes. Socrates, uh, for corrupting the, the youth. You know, yeah. he told them to question things. That was what Socrates was all about. Right. And the point you're making, it, it, I don't know if you're making this point, but I'm I'm going to make the point because you brought it up is this idea that our brain is a dummy our brain doesn't see things you know what our brain is a dumbass i hope i can say that on the on the, on the radio i hope i don't get in trouble oh, yeah. for that. but but that's what our brain is dumb and but we don't know that our brain we believe our brain is it, it, it knows what's going on so we believe our beliefs we believe our thoughts we believe the things that enter into our perception and our senses 
even though the evidence the evidence is is that our brains don't perceive things correctly i mean it seems like the earth is flat for that matter we don't perceive the world the way it is and that means our beliefs are pretty much wrong our thoughts are pretty much wrong and this is where the scientific method is so important the scientific method is about testing your beliefs and then seeing the results and then feeding the results back into the system and then testing those and then feeding those back into the system and continuously testing and and, and changing your hypothesis and changing your beliefs and incorporating new ideas and evidence and that's what this program is all about it's about changing ideas and changing beliefs that we have in our that are, we have been entranced into believing not for our best interest but for marketing and for for economic gain this is why you have things like the pharmacomedical model, and this is where you get this mentality of using drugs to treat diseases or using drugs to treat specific diseases like Alzheimer's and, and heart disease and skin problems, even though we know good and well all of these things are percolating underneath behind the scenes for decades before they show up. So your point is well taken, even though, uh, even though I kind of changed it around a little bit. You, you, can't, you can't go by your, your, what your first assumption is or your thoughts or your beliefs are because our brain is not that smart our brain is going to go by preconceived ideas and preconceived notions and preconceived beliefs and we'll never create we'll never create change unless we're always questioning and that's what the bright side's all about carl i gotta move thank you anything else you want to add uh, i'm just gonna have my uh, a dose of uh, btt i just got it today i'm opening it up right now and i think that that helps those maybe a certain amount of dose of that uh, might right. relieve those those symptoms a little bit and uh, make my cognition a little bit more focused and be able to uh, see things maybe a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe something in the nutrients does that. Que question everything, man. That's always that's always the answer. Question everything, especially if it's on the news, especially if it's in the per if it's in the newspaper. Absolutely. Question. Absolutely. All right, man. Thanks, man. All right, take care, Carl. Good to talk to you. Thank you. you All right. So that is it for the bright side today. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com or retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth omega 6 healing cream, and truth balm. And if you're interested in joining the Bright Side Ben team, we would love to have you on our team. 866 735 2470 is the phone number. They can tell you all about it. You can also sign up right from brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program from all our websites. And uh, if you want to uh, be in the, in the know on the latest skin health news and skin health ideas, head over to my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. I blog regularly on there as well as criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. Next week, we'll continue talking about DHEA and the sun and the skin and a special form of DHEA that you can use if, uh, if you have had breast cancer or you're afraid of going into some of the secondary sex characteristics associated with DHEA. We'll do that next week. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. This is a warning to all household pests, to all cockroaches.